<laughs> so, Harold, I want to start by asking you a little bit about the origins and evolution of the screenplay, because you look at these writing credits and it's kind of all-star team of screenwriters who worked on this movie. How did it first come to you and what did you respond to in it? Uh, interestingly enough, the two producers In, in that initial idea? I mean, was it just this world of New York politics, or...? I mean, frankly, I found it fascinating. And uh, the, um, I grew up in New York, and uh, not just the New York story, but a story about um, power and corruption and uh, surround us now. And, uh, I just thought it was an interesting story to tell. So Al, obviously you and Harold had worked together very successfully on Sea of Love yeah. before this. So uh, do you remember how the script came to you and what your initial conversations with Harold were like about the, the movie and the character? Well, actually, <laughs> somebody else was in the room first. I've never forgiven you. <laughs> I can correct you there. I had first offered it to Hal, but he was involved in another film in that period of time. was going with Oliver Stone called Noriega. Noriega. And so, without going through it all, we ended up together. <laughs> we went Noriega with a cast of about 100 in, a, in one of Oliver Stone's lofts somewhere in Santa Monica. And, uh, <laughs> We read the entire script. I'm not going to tell you who wrote it because it wasn't a bad script at all. But after, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't bad. Really. It's just that after we read it, um, we went into Oliver's office and I said, Do you really want to do this? <laughs> and he said, Do you think we can actually do this? <laughs> And he said, oh, I don't, Al, no. <laughs> he was like saying, what do you mean? But he was saying, no, I don't, you know. So I was then free. Uh, it was one of those things where, you know, it never got done, not as a movie, I must say. So that, that's, now, as far as Harold was, there was another actor in it, apparently, who was a uh, very, great actor, actually, and very well known. And so they, they fell out for some reason. And then uh, <laughs> there, there was an opening. And he's a, a longtime friend. We became very close with the Sea of Love. And so I thought, it's Harold. I love his direction. I love working with him. And I said, oh, and it's a good script. And I love Jerry Cusack. Uh, how about some of the other guys? Uh, Tony Franciosa and uh, fantastic. Uh, uh, what's his name, really? Italian guy? Danny Aiello. <laughs> you know those Italian names. <laughs> but I, I, I just, uh, it was, it was a, one of those feature roles. But, but it is a great ensemble piece in the Washington. How many good actors were in Oh, yeah. Well, that's you. You cast him. He cast wonderfully. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, uh, yeah. 
and he shoots like crazy, this guy. What an eye, huh? I have to say, you know, when I saw Sea of Love recently, I didn't see this. I, had, I was home, I had things, I had a, I have kids, I had to do some stuff. So I got here. I didn't even see a foot of Sorry, but I'm going to see it. <laughs> I remember really liking it when I saw it. And I, I remember liking Sea of Love, too, when I saw it. But I, I didn't... Uh, I didn't realize how really good it was and how he directed it. To like, was this on 35 from today? Yeah. Isn't that something? And I saw a Sea of Love on 35. Oh, I recommend it. It really was good. I mean, much better than I, right? Our memory of it. Much better than our memory. Maybe it's just age or something. But anyway, I did the thing, and it was in New York, and uh, we, we, we was right there, and, and uh, you know, I, I talked to mayors, different mayors. Not that you've asked. <laughs> well, no, I, I, I was curious about that. I was curious when you take on from like yeah. this. Well, I talked to all the mayors, like Giuliani, like Koch. There's a scene in there. You know when he's talking in, uh, in, um, in he's still watching that Carousel movie? Uh -huh. Like, yeah. you know? Yeah. And there's a scene where I'm outside, yeah. the lobby, yeah. and I'm hunched over like this with the, uh, that's Giuliani. Exactly what he did. So I copied it. <laughs> but it was great meeting the mayors and learning about New York from that vantage point, you know. And also, we were shooting on the actual locations. That was yeah. City Hall. And uh, City Hall is symmetrical. And on um, one side is the mayor's office, the other side is the assembly. Well, we, and Giuliani was the mayor at the time. Well, we couldn't get into that. We were able to duplicate his offices on the other side. So we were, he was on one side as we were shooting on the other. And so we got a lot out of that. Well, I feel like this and is... All of the locations. Yeah, this and Sea of Love are two of the great New York movies of the last 30 years. And I was... Uh, and I'm curious, Carol, you know, how difficult the logistics are of shooting a movie of this scale in the city, but... Is it worth it? I mean, what do you, you know, what are the challenges? Well, there's what is there's no question uh, New York is a character in this movie. Uh, people always say that, but that vitality, going into these places, it gives you back much more than you, all the work you put into it. Is, uh, it feeds you. It gets such an energy. It feeds you. And hopefully, as I said, I haven't seen this film now in the course of 20 years. What'd you think? And I also have to make mention of Michael Saris in my Yeah, well, a lot of that energy does come from the supporting cast. I mean, everybody in the movie is great, down to the smallest part. And that's another thing I've noticed about a lot of your movies, Harold, is you always, down to actors who have one or two lines, they always seem very precisely cast and, and thought out. And I'm wondering what your, I guess for lack of a better word, philosophy is about casting and how to direct actors. Well, uh, I'll just make mention of uh, my first film. I had cast an actor who didn't show up. It was only a couple of nights. So I said, well, give it to the extra. Gave it to the extra. It was a nightmare. <laughs> Even two lines <laughs> you kill the scene. So, uh, <laughs> you don't know want to have to face that. <laughs> Nowadays, I love just two lines. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I 
got something for you. And the actor says, really? You got something for me? And he says, speak. And he says, yeah. It's just one line. He says, yeah? He says, it's a play. He says, yeah? He says, and it's going on tonight. He said, yeah? He said, yeah. He said, what's the line? He says, you have to say, is that a bomb I hear? Oh. So the guy gets on the train to go to New York, and he's on the train, and, and he just keeps practicing. Is, is that a bomb I hear? Is that a bomb I hear? Is that a bomb I hear? Is that a bomb? No. Is that a bomb I hear? No. And he's doing it over and over again. He's, he's, he's late as all. Uh, he's really late for the show, and, and he gets to the thing, and he'll be this. How are you? He says, but I just said, there's something on the train. I had to get, I had to get back. He says, no, come on, come on, let's go. And he put the stuff on it, and he put the outfit on And he says, is that a bomb I hear? Bomb I hear? Is that a bomb? He says, he said, and they spread, and they hear something. And he's in the theater itself, and the audience is there, and he's backstage, and he's going, and it's, it's, uh, it's something, he's got a uniform on. And they say, uh, and the stage man behind him says, okay, you come on, go. So he runs out and he hears this huge explosion. He says, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
question was for Al, uh, who his favorite director is he's worked with, other than Harold Becker. <laughs> I also just worked with Martin Scorsese. Yeah. But I've been very lucky. I've been very lucky to have worked with these two. And so it's hard to say anyone that's a favorite. Of course, I started with Sidney Lament. Yeah. And one of the things about Sidney Lament was he rehearsed, you know. And you know, Harold rehearses, right? But, but um, that was very important to work with someone who gets the group together and spends weeks rehearsing. And I like the way he would direct. Uh, like when we did Dark Day Afternoon, <laughs> he has the opening of a bank robbery. And he just says, you go there, you go there, you go there, you go there, this is what you do. He gave you things to do. And uh, when you started doing them, just by doing them, you felt as though you were robbing a bank. <laughs> What's going on here? You know? and you're in it because he's, he would direct you that way. So that kind of vision. So I love working in that way. But all these other directors you mentioned, I love them. You know, of course, Coppola made me famous. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wanted me. Nobody in the world wanted me. Coppola wanted me. He's the only one who wanted me. And I, then they were thinking of firing me. <laughs> Francis. Well, I'm curious because you have worked with so many great directors and so, many, and so many varied directors, I mean, very different styles, very different approaches. Oh, yeah. What, for you, what do you look for in a director? What helps facilitate your best work? I mean, is there something they have in common? Or That's a good question, really, because it's, uh, it's sometimes a little bit, uh, you know, you don't know. Uh, what, what, what a director will bring out in you, you know, uh, and, uh, and I, I completely trust Harold, so I, I just feel very good. What was that? Hoisted <laughs> 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 by my own pet talk. <laughs> but uh, there's something about it. You know, when you know you're with someone, you, you didn't mention Warren Beatty. Warren Beatty, I loved working with too. He was a great director. He did uh, uh, Warren Beatty, you know, he's one of the But a lot of people don't know I was in the movie Dick Tracy. Woo! So what happens is when you're with so these directors, Scorsese, you're, you're, you're with people with this kind of sensibility. That you, it's infectious. You, you know that no matter what you do, they will censor you. you they will pick what is, has the kind of, you know, nutrients that are needed in the, uh, and so it's very liberating when you work with those people. I just worked with Quentin, and I have a, oh, Quentin. And, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's very, um, it's very great to work with great directors. But when you work with directors that are inexperienced sometimes, uh, it's, it's, it's very strange. You know, it is. I could tell you stories, <laughs> but uh, but it's very difficult this day and age. You know, when when you have films to do, how long did it take us to do a city hall? Uh, actual shooting? Yeah, I think it was about fifteen weeks. There you go. That's what you see up there, right? You see fifteen weeks up there. You can't make a movie in five weeks, and it can't be done. Like that. I mean, sometimes it's done. It, it's usually, but it's uh, but five weeks to make a movie. What am I? What am I talking about? <laughs> I think you know what it is. I think of certain things, movies and stuff. I don't want to go into it because the names I'd have to say. So, so I think of them. I don't know why I'm talking. <laughs> Well, I didn't call on you, but well, it's a good question. So, uh, of all your roles, which one's your favorite? Well, I, you know, you had to be there. Yeah, it's always different. There's so many components into what makes a role. You know, I've done a lot of stage work too, a lot of theater, and um, 
I think the uh, that that I can't, I can't include that. You're really talking about films, so so uh, uh, I can't say it. It's, I, I know one thing is that uh, um, um, the Scarface was the most. Uh, the Scarface is a very interesting film and has so many things in it that are very that has lasted so long. It's, it's had so many. So I like that because remember at the time my life was uh, was pretty pretty good, you know. So that's part of what made it uh, made it made it good too. You know, you hear what was going on. I'm curious, Carol, do you have a favorite of your movies? Favorite movie of your movies of the movies you directed? <laughs> oh, I, I would. <laughs> well, he did the onion field. Yeah. <laughs> well, City Hall has an intelligence in it, you know? I mean, there's a certain uh, body of, of, of uh, there's something that's intelligent. Well, and, you know, it's, and, and that's actually something I wanted to ask you about, the intelligence watching it tonight. It's a very adult, serious, sophisticated movie. How did you, in, in terms of editing, was it difficult sort of finding the right balance in terms of getting across the information and giving people enough to understand what was going on? I mean, did you have to do test screenings with the movie or show it to the people? Uh, you know, you have to go back to where it all begins, and that's that script. <coughs> Bill wrote a brilliant script. It sings, it sings in every scene. And, uh, of course, I had great actors, Al, Nothing, but in cutting it, I had also excellent, a couple of very good editors. I remember that that, that that line. You know, you're a singer, Frank. You know, sing. that, that was a great time, Francios yeah. and Iello together. The way with the lighting, the shading in it, and that scene. Oh my God, that was such a beautiful scene. I remember that scene. Oh, uh, 